Hi guys, uh, let's see how we can exploit Shellshock vulnerability via SSH protocol. If you guys don't know what uh, Shellshock is, well, Shellshock is actually a vulnerability that has been found in uh, bash shells that can allow an attacker to execute arbitrary commands in the target system. So if you want to know more about the bug, feel free to check it out. So for the initial exploit for the demonstration purposes, I have uh, taken this VM called Troll2 from Vulnub. I'll be leaving the link in the description below. Check it out. So uh, I already have the private key of a user called uh, Noob. So this is the private key of the user called uh, Noob. So what I'll be doing is I'll be trying to connect to the target machine via SSH through the private key that I have obtained. So let's try to connect SSH uh, by no and as a user no so my target system is residing at this ip address called 137 so it seems that some kind of script is running in the background that is keying us out from connecting to the target system it says try harder load so uh, there are multiple possibilities for this to happen one could be some kind of script that is running in the background that is kicking us out so uh, you guys probably might have heard about this script called profile uh, let me show you so there is this uh, script called dot profile if you see so this dot profile is responsible uh, for executing uh, scripts when a new bash session is uh, invoked. So I think this could be one of the reasons that could uh, kick us out because every time when we initiate a SSH session, a new bash session would be invoked. So if if that is happening, then uh, this dot profile script would get in, invoked whenever a SSH connection is uh, a SSH attempt is ma made. So that could this could be a possibility. So let's try to uh, bypass this. In order to do that, all you have to do is add this uh, T flag. So in order to show what this uh, T flag does, let me browse through this. Um, there is this thing called uh, sudo terminals. So that's what uh, this T flag does. Yeah, if you can see here, uh, uh, you can use capital T to disable sudo terminals, uh, whereas uh, small t is to uh, force sudo terminal allocation. So what this uh, sudo terminal allocation will do is it will allow us to execute arbitrary connection without, I mean, arbitrary commands without uh, being interactive so that's the thing with uh, the hyphen t flag so whatever you give uh, within the uh, quotes will the command will get executed so what we can do is uh, we can give a uh, bash we can execute bash with uh, no profile argument so what this will do is it will uh, invoke a bash session a new bash session without the profile file so let's try if this works so we get the same result try harder so it seems that uh, the profile file is not causing this issue so th there is another possibility we can try to exploit uh, shell shark because uh, whenever like i said whenever an ssh attempt is made uh, there is a possibility that whatever the shell that we are going to obtain is a bash shell so uh, bash as i've already mentioned bash is vulnerable to uh, shell shock certain versions of bash so let's try to uh, attempt shell shock so what we can do is uh, yep so in order to uh, exploit shell shock, all we have to do is uh, two round brackets uh, followed by a curly bra brace and a space. Remember guys, the space is important. So followed by a colon and a semicolon and close the curly braces followed by a semicolon and whatever the command that you want to execute here. So in my case, let's try if uh, id command executes. So as you can see, we have attained remote command execution. So from here, uh, it's almost easy. You can just replace this id command by with a reverse shell command, or we can try to invoke uh, bash. So bin bash, and yep, I guess uh, we are in. So that's it. We have successfully exploited shell shock vulnerability in a bash shell via SSH connection.